Mr. Greedy, Mr. Greedy, Red Dying Greedy, Greedy. Eh. Oh, Mr. Greedy, I'm talking to you, Mr. Greedy. Blessed love, greetings in the name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Ali I Selassie I the first and I know I'd go. Welcome to Militant Voices Podcast, I say say in season two, episode four, where we have fire bun interview tonight, I say saying well fire, that I know we have been in the studios tonight. Bobo Ken, you don't know I'd go. Two four two fire artist, I say saying, you don't know I'd go. So right now I'm sending a shout out to my brethren Jat Harry. In the ghetto, all my ghetto people, all firm, you don't know how to go. That I see, you know, say be strong and we can keep rebelling. We done been through hurricanes and storms many times and we can keep rebelling. Shout out to all my brethren, them Remington Steel, you don't know how to go. Fat man, that I say, said. Farmer Dread, aka Jazeel, that I say, said, you know how to go. Keep thanks, you say, said. You don't know how to go. Dominic, can't forget you same way. That I see all my ghetto people, that I say, said. All in the whole hood, that I say, said. Keep thanks and prayers, that I say, said. Rastafari. Welcome to the show, Militant Voices. Kaboom! Blessed love. Yes, I welcome forward to the podcast. I see we have you in the studio. Bobo Ken, the fire artist in cell 242. One of the greatest that I see that put it down in 242. That I see we here with him in the studio on Militant Voices podcast. You know your people been waiting on it. Your fans and your supporters. So, yeah, like, I, for all the people who don't know Bobo Ken out there, because I know many people know Bobo Ken. If you don't know Bobo Ken, Tell two for two in the world who Bobo Ken is. Well, well Bahamas, y'all know the one Bobo Ken. When you hear, if it ain't diamonds, it ain't real. Most people know me from my hit song called Do As You Please. Yes, Even King. though I am a rust, I'm on, I'll do as you please. Even stuff on the way to Wendy's. Ah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, ja. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Easy yes, yourself. Yeah, yeah, keep right. on pump, keep on pump. Yes, <laughs> Bobo sir. Ken, I tell you, better hilarious, you know. Yes, yes King. Whatever hilarious artist too. Yeah, man. So, Bobo Ken. What's Bobo Ken doing right now, man? I mean, you've been, I know you've been missing for a while, so when I know I just go missing and go in the shell, they go, they go to cook. Yeah. In the, in the kitchen, cooking up and yeah, cooking man. up. So, I know you're ready to serve someone. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, what Bobo Ken waking with right now? What Bobo Ken doing right now? Well, I'm doing a whole heap of stuff right now, because, you know, Bobo Ken was off the market for a minute. Mm. You know, I've been doing a lot of inside family stuff, but now I'm back in full effect. I have a whole bunch of new stuff, but they hit the market crazy right now. So, I just want the Bahamas prepare for Bobo Ken again. Most people they didn't hear about Bobo Ken for a while, you know? Mm -hmm. And they think they feel like Bobo Ken is a new artist or a no, new guy. That's artist beat. That's artist beat. But so then from, from the year like 2000 to like 2015, if it was a concert in the Bahamas, Bobo Ken was on it. Bobo Ken, yeah. Yeah, so he was on what, it. Yeah. That's the kind you of know. thing it's supposed to be. I mean, and that's the same way when I in Freeport, same way too, before I moved to the side and moved to foreign. Yeah, man, everything was to go down in Freeport is to be on it because that, that's when you're, you're setting your market and imprint. Yeah, man. yeah man, that's a good legacy right there. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, what you what, what you working on now? What's your projects you working on now? Your late, uh, you know, your yeah, latest project? Yeah, I got a few projects right now. I got a project called One Thing. Mm -hmm. There's a project called Haitian Thing. Mm -hmm. There's a project called The Food. Mm -hmm. One called Up Top Boss, which is my new song. Yeah, I hear that one all over the radio. Like, we can yeah, talk that, about that yeah, one. That's yeah. the one we can do yeah, the video that's for. like everywhere right yes, now. King. Up Top Boss. Yes, you can King. check it out. Facebook, MySpace. It everywhere. You know what I mean? Yes, so, King. Yeah. Well lyrical. Yeah. Well lyrical and the flow yeah, and everything on Point King. Yes, King. Yeah, man. Up Top Boss. So look here. As an artist growing up in the Bahamas, and you know, we, we choose to take on the, 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 the reggae part tour, even though we could do Calypso too or whatever we choose to do, but we choose to take on the reggae part tour because that's what we choose to do. Yeah. Um, how, like, how does it, how does it play for you as an artist? How, how does it work for you? You say, you say for Bobo Ken. Like, it's, it's really, for, for Bobo Ken, it's a Caribbean thing. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it's right. like, most people would feel like it's hard for Bahamian to sing a reggae song or whatever, but it's it's kind of the same culture. We're one, we we one, one people, so We can, we can use each other lyrics, yeah, so, so lyrics so man. So if you hear me right. singing, if you hear Bobo right. Ken say, I go and buy Peter Roka to buy me a super soaker. Mm. Or, you, or you hear me later say, I and I now go try the road with them there, pan. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Oh, you can do it in the rap flow too. Oh, I can come. Huh? I'm in the four hundred thousand dollar Whatever. Because all happened to us. All yeah, springs you know I mean? so, are indeed. Yeah. That's the music. Yeah, just black yeah, people, see? you know, just black. Yes, you know king. Mean? Yes, king. Yeah, all man. springs are indeed, man. All the music is in us, so we can express it how we choose to. Yeah, man. Yes, king. I love the answer. Yeah, man. So for Bobo Ken, the I say, I said, who's Bobo Ken? Influences in music. My great influences when I was a kid, I used to listen to Bob Marley and Buju Bantan. You know, and I always tell myself, why is it I listen to these two artists? And it's like, out of all these singers that is around, every time I hear these two artists sing, it's like, mm -hmm. I just feel this vibration. I was yes, like, King. wow, like, when I hear that, I, I know for sure, look here, I can't get no better than this. Right. When I hear Buju Bantan and Bob Marley, I was like, wow, I can't yes, get no better. King, you know yes. what I did? I never really, 
like share this with too much people, I actually start to pray to God to know how to sing, to make people feel like how these people made me feel. Yes, King. So I pray to God to be Bobo Ken. I don't know what happened. Poof, Bobo Ken. That's eight, because you know don't I mean? forget they said be careful what you pray for. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the yes, right. kid. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, uh, as Bobo can uh, go to his venture and thing like that, uh, you work on any concert? I mean, you, I know you work on concerts. Um, what is your last or latest show uh, you, just, you worked on? My latest show, I did a show about three nights ago at uh, Little Tits on Bacardi Road. Okay. And about five months ago, I did a, a major show. We had a major funeral service for the Bohemian Artist MDs. Okay, yes, I show a lot of people uh, familiar with it. Rest in and peace, I did a, MDs again. Rest yeah. in power, that I see, and condolences to the family again. That I see, yeah. and I see you live on. You don't know I go. You're putting yeah, your man. work. Yeah, man. Yeah, so man. It, was a, it was a nice show. Great turn out. And, and, and listen, it was so nice. Tell the people didn't even want to go home. Yes, King. When Bobo Ken come out there, it was like, they, they miss Bobo Ken. So yes, King. They, they, like, they, they, like they miss you. Like, they you know miss you. Mean? It yeah, ain't like so, they miss you. They so miss it you. It was crazy. You say you, you know, ain't been so, for a while, so yeah. he was glad to see you again and like, feel wow, the presence, yeah, man. You know? You're an energetic artist yeah. and, 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 you, and you bring energy to your, to yeah, your performance. You know? so to you. That's, that's what it's all about, yeah, King. Man. Yeah, man. So, um, Bobo Ken, let's say now, nah, uh, Bobo Ken, Judgment, top that one there, top that one there, top that one there, right? I'm going to tell them you done top now. Nah, I'm going to collaborations you done top of there now. Nah. Uh, what I do major collaborations, but what I does like most of the times, you know, most artists they would do underground stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I do like a lot of collaborations with public figure. Um, I did stuff with I Octane, a major mm -hmm. artist. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people probably don't heard about I, I Octane. Yeah, I did like, collabs with yeah, I Octane. Yeah, yeah, he's a big artist. Yeah, like a lot of people. And plus, I heard about him playing two public figures because that's one he. Yeah, he people them like that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's like a lot of stuff. Yeah. Over the years, I did a lot of songs with like Pedrino. I did songs with uh, Shout out to El Pedrino. Like, that know I'd go. You know what I mean? Yes, King. Yeah, I was supposed to do a couple of songs with the MDs, but two degrees ago, he passed. You know what I mean? Yeah, the side man. thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, so man. You just want to say much love and respect. The MDs and manners, you know, we miss you still, you know what I mean? So you did a few good collabs out there in yeah, the man. passage time. Yeah, yes, man. King, yes, King. You know. So uh this song here we're about to soon debut, right? That I see said Uptown Boss. Uptown Boss. How did how, how did this song come about? The Uptown Boss song. Yeah, this song was like I wanted to, 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 to rename my record label, it was Get Stuck Records. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? I'm not playing anymore. This is 2020. Right. I'm getting on top of all this stuff. So you yes. say, you know what? Forget the get stuck. Uh, up top, so I said I want to make this song and represent. I'm getting up this year. It's all about 2020. Vision. You might hear me saying some stuff in the song about oh me balling or something, but it ain't, really, it ain't really about balling. It's about me getting up there and letting everyone know. Look, this is a bright light to show you. Listen, up. All you did is just prophesy in your you future in the song. You prophesy uh, in your future in the song, man. Yeah, you see, that's all yeah, it is. you know what yes, I mean. That's what it is. Yeah, man. So I don't want no one to look down no more. That's 2019. Put that back there and be looking for what. Ever uh, Rastafari, uh, but right now we'll debut this song, The Up Top Boss, and let y'all see what it's all about. We'll be forward in a moment on Militant Voices podcast. Blessed love be in the studio with Bobo Ken. You already know 242, you don't know. Kaboom! Yes, I bless you. Give thanks and praise to Nalgo. Welcome forward. That I see the Melody Voice podcast. That there was the debut of Bobo Ken's video, Up Top Boss. I know you love it. Hot video, that hot song. All on the radio, Bobo Ken, let you know that in the video, how to reach him and his contacts, that I see saying. Now, forward to the show. Bobo Ken, my brethren, yeah, yeah, that I see. Bobo Ken, I see, uh, I was welcoming to your home. See, you have a nice place, that I see, as a young man, that I see, growing up in the system, you made 
some good, good moves, you know what I mean? And yeah. I see much young man them out there with their own home and thing. Yeah, they like to buy cars, jewelry and all that and forget you need a roof over your head at the end of the day, you see what I'm saying? So you're thinking like a man. That's yeah, the main man. thing, my brother. Yeah, man. First thing you're supposed to do with any money you make is try to get a piece of property yeah, or right, home right, and all right. that. Secure yourself, see? you know? And if you can buy a vehicle, let it be a truck or a bus right. or something. Like I tell a friend the other day, yeah. a car is for woman, yeah. a truck for man. Yeah, you yeah, can you make know? some money off a truck or a bus, you see what I'm saying? A car. When you get an accident, I mean, it costs you more money. All right, then. Oh, they always cost you money anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, you, need, yeah, you gotta be thinking smart yeah, when man. you invest. You see what I'm saying? Like what movie they been back in the day um, called Baby Boy with Tyrese. And Ring Rames is in the movie. And Ring Rames asked him a question one time say, What do you choose? You want butter or, or something? Or gold or something? Tell him. And which one you say to him? He's trying to show him a height to let you know. Don't chase after fame all right. and all them things. And gold and car. He said, that's, right. that's gold. He's just gold. He said, Butter is investments. See that I see? Mean priorities and all that, so we gotta deal with priorities, man. I put yeah, priorities man. first, you see, as yeah, a man. man. Yeah, so, Bobo Ken, like I say again, I was in your home, that I see, I see you have a nice hidden secret there which you ain't telling no one. <laughs> I see you got your tell the people in here what Bobo Ken talking about. Uh, let the people know. Yeah, you know, Bobo Ken studio set up in the home, you know. Kaboom! Yeah, studio, everything set up, you know what I mean? I welcome all the behemoth artists, everybody to come through, come do your thing, you know what I mean? Don't be too busy for Bobo Ken. Come through, you know, Bobo Ken is a real artist, as a real lord. If you come through, you're always welcome. Yes, King. Yeah. You're a fire, yeah, man. So, Bobo Ken, that is it. What's Bobo Ken? Legacy Bobo Ken want to deal with. But how Bobo Ken want people to remember him as when he retire and sit forward and chill out and say, okay, time for me to retire and chill out, but you want to leave a legacy behind as an artist. Yeah, man. What's your legacy you want to leave behind, Bobo Ken? Yeah, man, my legacy I want to leave behind, you know. I want to leave behind a legacy for, to be a remembrance for all the young youths them coming up, you know. Yes, King. As a legend, as a musical legend. Yes, King. I want to leave a legacy for my kids to know their daddy was a good person, was a good singer, was a legend. Mm -hmm. So they could carry on Bobo Ken. So even if Bobo Ken was to go beyond time, Bobo Ken still here with y'all, you know what I mean? Yes, King. Live on and live on. To still, the music. Thing is still to the music. Yes, to the works. Yeah, yeah man. Because if you look at the great Bob Marley, he, let a, he leave a great legacy behind. Yeah. And his children today eating off that. All right. Now his grandchildren eating off. Okay. He just skip Mali and all them now coming to the forefront. So, okay. you, so this thing is, you know what I mean? Eh? Universal. It's a know? legacy thing. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So you want to set a legacy where yeah, your third generation or fourth generation can all profit right. from it, all King. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yes, King. Yes, King. Yes, King. You're thinking yeah, like a man, Bobo Ken. Yeah, I love man. that. Yeah, man. So, Bobo Ken, as an artist, right? I know, say, I and I is ganja smokers. Yeah, man. And if I notice if you know what's going on in our country today, at 2 for 2 they talking about legalizing her and on recreational purposes and um, 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 regulating it in a certain way and different things like that, right? What's your views on that, on that issue in the matter? Well, to be quite frankly and honest, mm -hmm. if I can be honest. Yes, that's what you're all about. I feel, yeah. Really and truly, I feel like it's all a scam. If, mm -hmm. you, really, if you really ask Bobo again, mm -hmm. I feel like the government and people want to get involved in the marijuana. They feel like marijuana is a big business. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, it's a big business, yes. But if they try to get involved, I feel like the Chinese and all the people are going to take over the industry. And then what happened to the poor man that they already put yes, charges they, on that can't find a job. You bring and you understand, if the man can't find a job and all he knows is selling a little bit of marijuana, if you legalize marijuana and you take a hold of the stuff, and the Chinese take a hold of it. Remember that? The people with the money is who are going to control the marijuana. Remember that now? Mm, I mean, they saying they're going to um, expunge the records of the people who already got charged with this mar with this herb thing before, right? And they're planning on on um, let, um, letting it stand like that. Does that mean so when you get found with it now, you wouldn't be charged no more. And they won't go on your record, but you have to have a certain... They can probably regulate it, but you have a certain amount on you where the plants can probably have a certain amount of trees and different things. Or if you have land and stuff like that, then you can cultivate your land and whatever and deal with your wife how you want to. I don't know how they can do it, but I just hypothetically, you know, trying to figure it out myself. Yeah, yeah, but like I said, I feel it's a scam to keep the poor man. Yeah, home. because no, 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 it really, it really not benefited for us. Who's yeah, it's, it's, not. it's about money. It's about that's money. why coming in, and, yes, and, and, it is and, a scam yeah, for, yeah. For, but I, like I said on my podcast back, it's like, it's still in the forward, it's like, it's still benefit us and we're going, ah, benefit. Because we as the herd man, them who've been prosecuted for all these years and brothers who serve in time in jail, now, they came up with this plan now so they can make money, but it, it worked out for us who deal with it for recreational purposes and sacramental purposes as a Rastafari man, you see what you saying? Yeah. Yes, King. 
Yeah, man, I understand. I understand still. But then it's still a different meditation if you really look at it. Yes, yeah, always because, different angles. Because yes, they always fight it. Like, mm -hmm. for instance, mm -hmm. they always fight locks. You don't send them to jail for some many yeah, years. Yeah, they always fight locks the right. same way they fight right. weed. They look at locks as yes. some buds. So when they yes, see you yeah. back and they lock you up for it. Yeah. So why now today, these same people want to have locks. Nope. Now they want to be involved in things where, hey. they, where they have no, no power. Hey, hey, now watch this. It ain't just say nowadays. Then look how it's going to go into movie stars. Basketball okay. stars, players, football, okay. whoever, everybody's okay. locked. Now you look in the movies now, locks they got everybody everywhere. with locks and so this that's that. what it is now. You see what I'm saying? So one, 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 once was stigmatized as something bad now becomes something everyone All loves. Right. That's just going to show you how people can put laws on things and change the whole concept or perspective the way they of want what it, that when they want when it. They want it yeah, how they want exactly. it. Exactly. So that's yes, what's really happening. Take away your human rights right. and the rights of nature and the rights right. of the most high and the rights of our ancestors. Exactly. So of course, you see how you exactly. say exactly. Yes, King. Yeah, yes, King. Yes, warrior. So for Bobo Ken, um give us some more on the Bobo Ken musical ventures. I know you're doing some things and you're supposed to be talking already, you're supposed to be doing something where you're gonna be working with people in England and things with one new single. I won't give out too much because I know how much you won't give us like a let you yeah, express man. these things. Yeah man, I suppose to do take, some big yeah, things. Let know, yeah, yeah, give I, some I insight, do some man. big things in England. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I get some people in England supposed to send this song to call I'm sorry. Okay. This is a big song I'm working on. You know, I probably can give you a little snippet of it. Okay. But this is a big tune I'm working on right now, and it's, it's the kind of song that would, would mash up England. They, they, yes, they're yeah. hungry for this kind of music right now. So this song is like like crazy, and when I send this to England and come back to me, mix and master it and everything, this song is going to go crazy. It's called I'm Sorry. Yes, King. You know what I mean? So and just keep a lookout for it. Yes, King. And we also had a little discussion earlier, you know, behind the scenes uh, about a controversial song you have in the, in the chamber, yeah. which you don't want to let go right now. Uh, I don't want to give them too much on that because I can say it's a controversial <laughs> song, but I was yeah. telling you, Bobo can need to let this song go because I hear <laughs> the first bars of the song, the first 16, the first uh, verse uh, as far writers and who do know but music, uh, the first bar, 16 voices, however you want to put it. I heard it myself and I think the song should go there, yeah, right. but this brother have that in the chamber, oh, like that's a special... Kaboom, yeah, so yeah. I can let him deal with that on his own terms and he ready. Right, he's ready. Like, yeah. Save it, boy. Like, yeah. He's lying. But I like, yeah. Can I give you all a piece of this? <laughs> Should I give them a piece of this? I would love to you to give yeah, two for two in the world, Pete. Let me give two for two, for two pieces of this, Go okay? On. From Bobo Ken, also known as Mr. Nassau. We can't even pay our light, we can't even pay our rent, but we voting this government. Why we voting this government? We can't even eat no bread, we can't even make no tea, but they living in life with key. In high society, their children go into a private school, they pay in them private fees. But what about me or you? Or what about you or me? I don't want to promote crime, but everybody follow me. We go into life with key, we going down Shirley Street, we go to make some noise and let everybody see how children ain't got no clothes and ain't got no food to eat. Everything is FNM. Everything is PLP. And what about the number shops? Destroying our land and sea. I say we can't even pay our light. We can't even pay our rent. But we voting this government. Why we voting this? Bo -bo hey, hey, no more. <laughs> I just supposed to tell you, don't give them no more. Don't you hear what I'm talking about now? When I say this brother got a song in the chamber and this a Calypso song, because you know Bobo can't waste the time. So, I tell his brother he need to drop the song because this what going on. The people need to hear the song, man. I don't know why he won't drop this one. You see, but that on him. And I feel he can drop it after this interview. <laughs> yes, Bobo Ken. A rebel. Yes, King. So Bobo Ken. Uh let's say uh I can cause I can be soon about to wrap it up, so I can go a little I can give you some time to you know, if you have anything else you want to express before you wrap it up, you know what I mean? But I'm going to pose one more question to you as an artist, I say, saying, for Bobo Ken, who being working independently, as an independent artist, like how I and I is doing, most people is do, because we be getting shut out, plenty of gates, they close plenty of doors in our face, because of the music running in the Bahamas, the radio stations only plays who is in their circle or who is their friend. If they don't like you, they don't worry about your talent or recognize it, you just don't get a play. So plenty of people be wondering, like, how, you know, you ain't on the radio with all these good songs, or why you don't hear you in this, it don't be like, you don't really want to get on the radio or you ain't trying to be on the radio, just that you be getting these, what you call black ball, by color white ball, we be getting the white ball on us all the time. So more time as artists, we don't get a time or a, a platform on those levels to express ourselves. And so we create platforms and we try to bring it to the people. You see what I'm saying? We create our platform because we ain't gonna let no one keep us out or stop what we know we have in us and what Jack yeah. gave us to bring out. So if we, we ain't worrying but you like Marcus Garvey said, you can't find work, you make work. Yeah. So if we can't find platforms, we create no and make platform. platforms. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying? And there's a Militant Voices podcast, do it. 
We're creating a, a yeah. platform where we can bring our brothers to the forefront because your people are there in control and positions with egotistic minds and feel that they can keep people down and keep yeah, people man. talent at a, a, a choke it how they want to. Yeah, it ain't going to work in the 242 with I&I them because we just as intelligent as you. See I said? So Bobo Ken, my brethren, how yeah. Bobo Ken is striving the system where it's be trying to hold artists down as yeah, an independent artist. I see yeah, got man. your own studio, got your own house, doing things for yourself in the world. How you was dealing with it? You say yeah, in the situation. In, in my situation, like in a situation like this, you just have to push hard. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And no matter what no one say, no matter what happen, don't give up. Cause you know, good work show for itself. Like you said, all publicity. It's good, good publicity, publicity, my brother. You understand me? You so you just it. keep pushing in work. Mm -hmm. and, and never be, never be second minded to whatever you trying to do. Be right on it. You understand number one. me? Always because remember it. now. Always remember this now. There's a lot of eyes out there that want to see all of us make it. Mm -hmm. But also, a ton of eyes out there that want to see all of us fail. fail. Yes, King. So Boba, that's why Boba can say, up. That's like You know what I mean? Up. Yes, yeah, man, that's what it is. That's why I and I artists do it for the love. Yeah, we don't do it for the likes. Yes, you I, see I am. Yes, you know we just mean? do it for the love. Yeah, man, that's why artists like us keep striving because all the controversial things we've been through, all the doors closed in our face, all the things that they try to do, we keep emerging. We keep coming because why they're loving us for this music All right. and we some people they say many call if you're chosen i and i is a chosen a few that i see i ain't called mm. to do this i chosen to do this this All my right. works and no one can stop that you see boom, boom. and once it's ordained by his imperial majesty you just can't stop it can't break it rastafari you yes, don't know yes but we can yes, so man. now we'll get into this last part about the wrap up so we post the last question what i do on the show is like a it's like a, a traditional thing on the show since we had the show running I always can't let you come here asking about our politics in our country because we all live here and we all have to share our political views and let these people know how we think and what we feel. We don't give them too much because we don't want to try to, you know, but we also let them know what we feel about them and, yeah. and what the works they do. If you're doing good works, we credit you. Yeah. And if you're doing wrong works, we, we, we can dis speak we on it. We can speak on discredit yeah. you. Speak on it. So give both yeah. views on we it. We feel politically in the Bahamas, you know, in our country right here, you know. I feel like our government, for, for, for certain, is being controlled by a higher power. It is. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. I That's feel like, how it always been. Yeah, I feel like the decisions uh, these government officials are making is not their decisions. I feel like it's a higher power that they ain't telling people about. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, I don't want to get too been. deep into this. You know, I, go. You yeah, know but I, go. I feel like it's a yes, higher king. power. Yes, you know what I mean? If, if you understand what I'm saying. Yes, so, so I that's what I think is really happening the point, in the Bahamas. And the higher yes, power king. that has given this power is kind of corrupted the same way. So yeah. it's, like, it's like, it's like you can't get away from this. But I understand one thing as a Rasta, you know what I mean? Rastafari, I, I understand that prophecy have to be fulfilled. Definitely. You know what Definitely. I mean? So whatever happened now with the governments, whatever menace or whatever whatever they do is not of them because prophecy have to be fulfilled. They, they have right. to carry they out this. Right. This have to be ordained and fulfilled. You know what I mean? So that's how people can see the political views in my insight still. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, because the, the, the whole exploitation game being put on us long time because the powers behind the powers that be All right. then tell the powers that be that govern over us okay. to milk us so they can be fat and they pocket fat All now right. I'm talking about the one who milking us the one who give it in the power they get the biggest percentage okay. and the ones who get who, who, who in control of us they split that percentage will leave over and then the public get another piece of that that's how it always I feel it's trickle down because if it don't trickle down the way then why the ones who in power always look good fat and healthy and strong and the ones who are like us who would be voting them in always be the ones who suffering so someone have to be eaten and someone ain't eaten yeah then see Is my input not saying cutting you off my mm, input no too man. why the people would just sit there and if somebody actually see you today and spit in your face you know automatically that this is a threat this is an enemy so if you see them tomorrow and they spit in your face you should automatically fight back so why would you stand there and just let somebody spit in your face That's me personally true. you spit in my face yeah, i man. feel like I'm going to spit back in your face. Yeah, man, it's natural. So I ain't going to sit there year after year, term after term, and let you do what you want to do to me. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? So that's what happened with the, with the Bahamian people and a lot of people around the world. They sit in there and these people just do what they want to do. And I feel really and truly, my perspective, I may be wrong, but I feel really and truly the people is the government. Yeah, we hire you. You, you see what I'm saying? So I feel work like, for the people. Yeah, I feel like the, work for you. All right. If the people take control yes, and okay. come together, think about it. The government is only one prime minister and maybe a house full of uh, 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 politicians, of parliaments. which is maybe 300, maybe 400 of them. But think about it. Elected we have members. thousands and billions of civilians. Yeah, you got the prime minister so, and, the, yeah. and the elected Yeah, so we are the government. Members so of parliament. So it's up to the people yeah. to come together and say, you know what? Like that song I sang earlier, 
we're going to make some noise. Yeah. We're going to get a, a crowd of people together. We're yes, going King. downtown. Yes, King. Yes, and we're King. going to address this stuff and say, look, yes, we are King. tired of this. What y'all go, what, 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 we have to stand up here and let y'all shoot us down for y'all to no. realize that we're serious. No, see, the voice of the people is the voice of God. So more so, time, all right. I, I, um, you know, we come to express the most high doings and well yeah. So even though you may put it through the, the social degradation and all these different type things and different type work, because if you check a stock in America, when they implement their laws against black man over there, and they put it in legislation and all that, America had a racist system set up. But here in the Bahamas, we can't have a racist system because we can't be racist because we don't have the power to control certain things. Okay. As, as a, but we could be di discriminative, discriminative to our own, or we could be which you call, you say, you say, we could have these kind of wives out and we could keep our own down because you have a certain type of power or you're in a certain type of position, you could control the outcome of the whole situation at your disposal, you say, say. So more time, that narrative of the narrative of the change where the, the people start to benefit from the people they put in power. You say, you say, the people you put in power, you have to show us that you doing the job where we benefiting from it. It can't be no more exploitation exactly, game. Exactly. You see, it have to be a beneficial game. Yeah. Now, you say, you and say, I see the people who understand. It's like a losing war where they fighting because when you continue letting people trample you and trample you, you're going down. Right. So what I mean to say, in other words, is all this fight on the end of the day, let me tell you people, people need to get themselves prepared. You understand? Yeah, you know, me, hungry, right? They say because a hungry, a hungry mob. Strike. Hey, a hungry mob is okay. an angry mob. Because when you yeah, see, know that. You, you see, you think people are robbing for yeah. money, and you see people are robbing for fame or whatever, you don't want to see some angry people who's robbing hungry, for food. Who's <laughs> hungry and want food. some food. Yeah. You understand? You don't yeah. want to see the pressure from that. So mm -hmm. the thing is this, the people just have to prepare themselves because the Bible has to be fulfilled. No matter what you do or the Prime Minister do, it has to be fulfilled. So just prepare yourself and your loved ones and remember, prayer changes everything. Up. See it. Yeah, man. So you don't know I'll go. You hear from Bobo Ken himself. We enjoy this interview with Bobo Ken. That I say, say, Militant Voices Podcast. That I see say, in season two, episode four, with the fireman himself, Bobo Ken, in the place. That I say, say, in 242, culture artist, slash dancehall artist, that I see, slash singer, slash rapper, slash calypso. And this accolades go on and on. That I see. So this I'll go. Give thanks and praise to the Most High. To all my people, cease the fire, put down the gun in the streets. That I say, say, eat healthy. That I see, start to practice eating healthy, start to practice working out yourself, staying physical because we're warriors and the queens is warriors. So we have to, you know, keep strong. Uh, uh, the lions are lions and lioness, and they say, saying, so more time, eat healthy, practice a lot of exercise, think smart, feed your mind with proper things and positive things. That I say, saying, so your mind can be strong. That I see, you can be able to express positively. You say, saying, and I let them say it again. Put down the guns in the street, my brethren. Cease the fire 2020. Let's bring more love to the table. Like I say, say, let's hold our woman them. Make love to our woman them. Make children and take care of them. Like I say, say, and grow up strong nations of people. Like I say, say, and it takes a tribe to raise a child. So let's start looking for the youth them in the street. If you see them going astray and doing wrong, let's guide them in the right way. Like I say, yeah, say, and just yeah, the movement and just the message. Yeah, I'm not trying to bring to the people. Like I say, say, we're trying to bring forward a positive people again. Like how we yeah, was man. African people in the way we was in Africa before all the savage. Man manipulation and brainwash mm -hmm. things come to us and help us care on the way we care on today because Africans never to do this. No. We never to kill one then and slaughter one then and treat our women like bitches and whores and abuse our children. We never do them things. I see we try to raise our children right. We discipline them if they need discipline and we try to raise them right and we try to treat our we used to treat our queens right. We used to protect our women and children and these are things we used to care of as African people. So let's continue doing these things. I say saying Two for two, one love to the people. Kaboom! Rastafari and Militant Voices Podcast. We'd have to send a shout out and pay the bills to our sponsors, the ICC and Pyramid Cinematics, where we do short films, we do videos, we do commercials, we do game shows, whatever you need. Pyramid Cinematics can provide it for you. Send a shout out to Pop Up Cinema, where we pop up on your parks or any place and location, and we provide the film and you buy the popcorns and drinks. And at certain locations, you pay for your film, your popcorns, and your drinks too. So it's a different package deal in it. So we give another shout out to our another sponsor, Jada's Fashion, with providing the clothes for the females out there today. The beautiful clothes, having them looking nice and beautiful. Quality fashion at a quality price, so I say, saying. So you'll send a shout out to Jada's Fashion and also send a shout out to Militant my mind's music that I say say I'm gonna give you the proper militant music and give the people them positive music for the mind who will feed the mind that I see and give the soul contentment and make the spirit revolutionary that I say saying so give thanks and praise that I say saying bless and love to then again we have our next guest on the show you know we don't give it out element of surprise always bless and love Rastafari living in rainbow bless, 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 give bless, thanks bless. once again my yeah, lord man, give thanks for strength life you know to one and all my lord you know remember one thing you know for 2020 
self control. Yes, kid. You know, self control. Yes, but tuning, you know, tuning to the military voices, mm -hmm. Ross Copper, Poboken, and the whole family. Yeah, you man. know what I mean? You More time, up. you can call the Get Stuck Studios at 825-0925. You can contact Bobo Ken at the studio anytime. You can contact me on Facebook. Um, you can also call any local radio station and request the new Bobo Ken call up top boss. 100 Jams, 94, 104, any one of them. You know what I mean? Like Bobo Ken say, Rich Madness. Hey, one thing or two. You're on top of your game that you're just about to post that question to ask you if you can find your location. So I guess Rest he was right. on the third Rest eye. Right. He said, right. right. I like that. He said, look at the right. question. He, he answered the question before the post. So that means on one connection, right. King. I love yes, to see that. Give thanks. Yes, King. On the rebel. Rastafari. Right. Yes, King. Bless the love 242 in the world. Hey, Mr. Greedy.